Queen Elizabeth II told by doctors to rest for at least two weeks, will not carry out official visits The announcement comes more than a week after the monarch, 95, spent a night in the hospital for what a spokesman described at the time as preliminary investigations. Her Majesty's doctors have advised that she should continue to rest for at least the next two weeks. The doctors have advised that Her Majesty can continue to undertake light, desk-based duties during this time, including some virtual audiences, but not to undertake any official visits, the palace said in its statement Friday. Her Majesty regrets that this means she will be unable to attend the Festival of Remembrance on Saturday, November 13. However, it remains the Queen's firm intention to be present for the National Service of Remembrance on Remembrance Sunday, on November 14. The palace announced Tuesday the Queen would not be making a planned appearance at an evening reception for world leaders she was going to host at the COP26 summit next week, and would instead make a video address. As the head of state, representing her country is a key part of the Queen's constitutional role. Having to cancel her in-person appearance at the largest gathering of world leaders to ever take place on British soil would have been disappointing to the Queen. The Queen recorded a COP26 speech Friday afternoon which will be shown at the conference on Monday, according to the royal source. The Queen had cancelled a trip to Northern Ireland last week following medical advice to rest more, but resumed light duties on Tuesday including two virtual audiences with the South Korean and Swiss ambassadors to the UK. The palace has not disclosed any details about the Queen's health, but has consistently stressed the monarch was in good spirits and able to undertake some duties. On Thursday, the palace released a snippet from a video call earlier in the day. In the clip, she joked with the 2020 winner of the Queen's gold medal for poetry, David Constantine who was presented with his medal at Buckingham Palace. I don't know what you do with it. You put it in a cupboard, she quipped. Earlier this month, the Queen made the decision to use a walking stick in public for the first time for comfort. While the Queen does not appear to be slowing down when it comes to her ceremonial responsibilities, she has since handed off long haul tours to other family members. Last week, she declined an honor of being named Oldie of the Year by a British magazine, saying she did not meet the relevant criteria. She politely but firmly declined the award through her assistant private secretary with warmest best wishes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.